Okay, in the final lesson of chapter 2, what we are going to look at is the definitions having to do with interior and exterior angles of any polygons and what polygons are, and then look at some examples from the activity that you just did. Okay? <clears throat> so, first of all, what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed shape with any number of sides. So here's an example of a polygon. Kind of looks like Pac-Man. Pac-Man is a polygon. He's closed shape, and he has, in this case, looks like six sides. Okay. Next definition, what's a convex polygon? A convex polygon is a polygon where all of the interior angles are less than 180 degrees. So if you look at Pac-Man, this angle here around his mouth, that's bigger than... 180 degrees. So he looks like he has an indent, whereas convex polygons don't look like they have an indent. Okay, so there is a convex polygon. A regular polygon, finally, is a polygon, it's a specific type of polygon with a specific properties, is a polygon with all equal sides and angles. So if you look at this polygon, I'm just going to roughly sketch one. If these are all equal sides, then all the angles would also be equal to each other. That would be a regular pentagon. It's a five-sided shape that has all equal sides and all equal angles. So we're going to do some examples now. You may want to pause the video and try some of these on your own. I'm going to show you multiple methods for solving these examples. But again, the best way to do things and to learn is to try them first and then see if you understand them and then pause and see what's going on. Okay, so example number one says this. What is the sum of the interior angles of a 15-sided polygon? Well, we learned in the activity at the beginning of 2.4, and here's one method as a formula, that the interior angles is always 180 times the number of sides minus 2. So the interior angles here would be 180 times a 15-sided shape minus 2. So that would be 180 times 13. So whatever that product is is our answer, 180 times 13. So the sum of the interior angles would be 2,340 degrees. Uh, if we use the concept, if you're not a fan of formulas, the concept is exactly the same. You would do a 15-sided shape, minus 2, so that would be 13 triangles, okay, because it's always two less triangles than the number of sides, and we would do 13 times 180, because the triangle is 180 degrees, and you get the exact same sum of the interior angles. Okay. Example 2. How many sides does a polygon have if the sum of its angles are 3,240 degrees? Uh, one method, so it's saying we know the sum, now how many sides does it have? So we could use the exact same formula but substitute in a different place. We know the sum. So the S is the 3,240 and that's equivalent to 180 times the number of sides minus 2. So now we just solve for the number of sides. The first step would be to divide by 180, okay, so 3240 divided by 180 is 18, so we have 18 is equivalent to n minus 2, and then you could add 2 to each side, this is just solving using algebra, so we'd have n is equal to 18 plus 2, which is 20, so we'd have 20 sides, okay. Uh, another way, if we use the concept, would be this, if we... Do 3,240 divided by 180, that would give us the number of triangles, and that's going to be 18. So 18 triangles. So if we have 18 triangles in a polygon, the number of sides would be 2 greater. So if you do 18 plus 2, because that would give you the number of sides, that would also give you 20 sides. So either way, whether you use a formula or the concept, you get the same answer. Example 3 says determine the measure of each interior angle of a regular hexagon. So I drew a six-sided shape, that's a hexagon, where all the sides are equal. What that means is that all the angles are equal. So if I could find the sum, and the sum of all the angles is going to be 180 times n minus 2. If you like the concept, it would be 180 uh, times the number of triangles. So the number of triangles would be 6 minus 2. So the sum of all the angles is 180 times 4, which is 720 degrees. So all of these angles add up to 720 degrees. But the question says determine the measure of each angle. So there are six angles. 
So if we take the sum of all the angles and divide it by 6, we will get what each angle is. So each interior angle would be 120 degrees. Uh, a couple more examples. This is an interesting one. It says, how many sides does a regular polygon have if each interior angle is 135 degrees? Now this would be tricky using a formula. So we know that we've got some sort of regular polygon where each interior angle is 135 degrees. What we don't know is how many sides it has. Okay? And that will be very difficult using a formula. In fact, it would be nearly impossible, so I'm not going to actually even show you the formula version. The easiest way to do this is for you to remember that the exterior angles, so if you remember, let me just show you an example here, that all these exterior angles, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, they add up to 360. So exterior angles equal 360 degrees. Now let's find out why that's useful. If I have a polygon where each interior angle is 135 degrees, what is the measure of each exterior angle? And you may want to pause this and calculate what each exterior angle is. Okay. I hope you found out that all of these exterior angles are 45 degrees. Okay. So, how this applies is that if we know how many times 45 goes into 360, we have the number of exterior angles. So the number of exterior angles in this case would be 360 degrees divided by 45, because exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees, and that would be 8 exterior angles. And guess what? Each exterior angle also has an interior angle. So therefore, which I'm going to use three dots for, there are eight interior angles and eight sides. So the nature of the exterior angles property helps us determine the number of sides for that shape. And here's the last example, which you may want to pause. I'm going to go over it rather quickly, but try it on your own. It says, determine the measure of angle A, B, C, D, E, and F. And I think we may go in order. Let's find out. And again, you may want to pause this at some point in time. So angle A, we have an eight-sided shape. This is an octagon, and it's a regular octagon. So the sum of it will be 180 times 8 minus 2, which is 180 times 6 which is 1,080 degrees. That's the sum of an octagon. So now we need to divide that by 8, and we'll get what angle A is. That's 135 degrees. Okay, so angle A is 135 degrees. Angle B, we would also note that this angle here would be 135 degrees, because all of the angles, the interior angles of this octagon would be 135 degrees. But if you look at this shape here, this is an isosceles triangle. So what that means is that angle B is equal to angle C, and it's a triangle. So angle B would be 180 degrees, that's the sum of a triangle, minus 135. So the sum of angle B and C is 45 degrees, but we need to divide it by 2. So 45 divided by 2 would be 22.5 degrees each. So angle B and angle C would both be 22.5 degrees, okay? Because it's the sum of an isosceles triangle, and we know that the obtuse angle is 135 degrees. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to add that to the diagram, 22.5 and 22.5. Next, D. We know that C plus D is the interior angle, so angle C plus angle D has to equal 135 degrees. So what that means is that angle D must be 135 minus 22.5. So that would be 112.5 degrees. Okay. Uh, angle E, again this is focused on lots of different properties. Angle E you may notice here that the top and the bottom lines are parallel. So these are, <clears throat> what we know is that angle D 
plus angle E equals 180 degrees. If you remember, those are called interior angles on the same side of the transversal. And those equal 180 degrees. So if I know that D is 112, then angle E must be 180 minus 112.5, which I believe is 67.5 degrees. Okay, and finally, so you're starting to recognize that we're using lots of properties here. Finally, angle F is given the nature that F plus E plus B equals the interior angle of the octagon. So we know that angle F plus E plus B has to be 135 degrees. So angle F would be equivalent to 135 minus 67.5 minus 22.5 degrees and that would be a grand total of 45 degrees. <clears throat> so in summary of this entire section would be this. The sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 180 times the number of sides minus 2. Secondly, the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon, so each interior angle of a regular polygon is the sum of all the angles divided by the number of angles, so each would be equal. And finally, is that the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is always 360 degrees. So what you're going to do now is move on to the next part of your study guide, so do the following questions and get Mr. Martins to initial them for correctness. <clears throat>